Well, hello there. Unfortunately, it has been raining day after day after day after day. And it's cold, miserable, wet rain. And I, I'm just not going to work on the Thunderbird like that. I started a fire yesterday to burn up that big pile of branches and leaves and all kinds of crap we had there. I got about 85% of it. And then, it, you know, the sky opened up again. And now you can see what's happening. It's just sitting there smoldering. So that little effort was futile. Yeah, but no problem. We have other things we can be doing. You know, something like, we, you know, gather up all my uh, little table radios I've got laying around out in the garage on various shelves and even to the rear of me in the shop here. And I drug out uh, one, two, three, four, five. I got one in the house. So I took one in the house. So I've got six out there I'm going to be working on. Not going to do it, you know, a repair a series, a YouTube series on it. I'm just going to fix them, get them going, shine them up, make them look halfway decent. I'll show you at the end of each radio what it sounds like after each repair is done. And then I'll be handing them off to uh, what I consider to be deserving people, people that will appreciate a small table radio like this. And uh, now, not all of my, my table radios will be given away. My little old Motorola up here, this one, this one I want. This is the exact same color. It's a brown, it's a brown Motorola. And it's exactly the radio I had as I was a kid. Uh, my mom bought it for me, but I kept dropping it up to the, end, the night table so many times and busted all the pieces. And then it eventually wound up in the trash. And here I am years later buying another one off eBay. I think I paid, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks, something like that. But we're going to keep that baby. I got it all functional, changed out the electrolytics. It works perfect. And uh, But these are going to be disappearing. And then, you know, I've got a few more out there we'll be dragging out. Also, part of the uh, workbench is going to be moved back into the house. Uh, I don't like being away from the wife since she's been sick. I don't like being, you know, I, I sit out here and I work on radios, but my mind is half on her and half on what I'm doing, and that's no good. And that's really bad. So I wind up going back in the house about every 30, 40 minutes or so, checking on her to make sure she's okay. I don't want to ever find her like I found her that one morning. For those of you who follow my videos, you know, she was just totally gone. I had to get her out of here in an ambulance. I don't want to have to go through that again. So I want to stay on top of things. You know, she's always telling me, oh, well, I'm okay. I said, yeah, well, you were, you were okay when I went to bed that one night. And when I got up in the morning, you weren't okay. So that's how quickly it can happen. So, we won't be doing any kind of radio repair series on these, but, you know, as I finish them, I'll let you see them. We'll turn them on to make sure they work, and then we'll find a, you know, a respectable person that will take care of them, a deserving person, and we'll hand them off. And now, it's time to paint with John. I'm glad you could be with us today. It's a wonderful day here, and I hope it's just as wonderful where you are. Now today I thought we'd paint a little winter scene, you know? Maybe some blue sky, some clouds, and maybe some mountains, and I don't know, maybe some water. I love water. I love making mountains. Must be from all the years I lived in Arkansas. What we're going to do is we're only going to use five colors. Yeah, that's right. We're going to use titanium white, uh, midnight black, phthalo blue, Prussian blue, and some alizarin crimson. And of course, we're going to cover our canvas with liquid white. So, tell you what, why don't I just go ahead and we'll take a break right now and I'll go ahead and get that liquid white on the canvas and then we can get started. The liquid white is on, very thin coat, you don't need a thick coat. And what do you say we start out with the two inch brush today? Yeah, we'll start out with the two inch brush and get a little phthalo blue going here. Got to really stab that old brush in there. We want to make sure it's got lots of, lots of paint in, in the bristles, in the tips. Yeah, just got to, what you got to do, you just got to stab it in there, like so. And then we'll just start up here in the corner and work our way down. Yeah, just, just work it in there, work it in. Yeah, we're 
we're gonna make a nice cold wintry day. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Yep, nice cold day. Yeah. See how it blends with the white? Blends with the white. Just little X's, little crisscross X's. That's all it takes. That's all there is to it. Nothing to it. Alright, now I take a little bit of I take a little bit of Prussian blue. A little bit of Prussian blue. and you know, maybe get the corners nice and dark up there. That's what we want. Darker corners. Ooh, gotta go a little bit darker than that. Just a little bit darker than that. Yes we do. Yes we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what we want right there. Yeah, just like that. Same thing over here. I'm gonna make it just a little bit darker yet. Yes. That's what we want. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we're just gonna bring it on down there. Yes, right there. Okay, now we need a little bit of water. Gotta have a little bit of water. You know me. I got water in all my paintings if I can make it happen. Yeah. Yeah, we'll come about right here, just come from the outside in. That's all you gotta do. Just come from the outside in. Yep, that's all. Just back and forth. Leave a little spot in the middle here where there's no paint. It'll give you a nice, nice uh, sheen on the water later on. Yeah. Yeah, let's work that in. Uh-huh. All it takes, no big deal. You can do it. It's easy to do stuff. More over here. That's right. Just bring it on in there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing to it. Anybody can do this stuff. It's a piece of cake. Yes. Where have I heard that before? I don't know. Whoever said it's a genius. Alright. You know, I think we could maybe even bring our sky down just a little bit more and blend it in. Yes, we could. Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. Okay, now let's clean our brush. thing caught my hair. What's wrong with you? Sorry about the hair being caught. Oh, where was I? Oh yeah. <laughs> I love that. It makes a big mess. <laughs> All right. Clean brush. Now we go ahead and just gently mix it across. Yes, yeah, that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's all there is to it. See? See, now that sheen area will stay there. Yes, it will. It'll stay there. It's not going anywhere. No. Yeah. All right, so far so good. You see, anybody could do this. Anybody. Yes. All right, now, I'm going to take the old knife. That's what we need. We need the old knife. We're going to take a little bit of, little bit of blue. We're going to mix it all up right here. A little bit of black. Yeah, oh, what the heck, let's throw in a little bit right here. Everybody lives risen and crimson, it's just, you know, sliding around. Mm, mix that in there too, just kind of get that in. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a nice little mountain with that here in a minute. But first, we're going to do some clouds. Uh-huh. Oh, I've got to have them clouds. Uh-huh. Yes, uh-huh. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what. I can make the clouds with a one-inch brush. Or I can make the clouds with a fan brush. Which should I use? I'll tell you what, let's just use the fan brush. Yeah, we'll just go with the fan brush. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of white. I'm just going to mix it back and forth like that. Load up the brush. Load up that brush. See there? Yeah. 
And they see both sides just loaded up, yeah. You know, we just gotta squiggle it around. Just gotta fire it in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just fire it in there. Just get them old clouds it going. Yeah. That's all it takes. Just smush it in there. Yeah, that's all there are. We'll come down here with a few. Then come over here with a few. I love these clouds. Yeah. You know, clouds are funny things, you know, they go where they want, they do what they want. Yes. There's no such thing as a basic cloud, uh-huh, 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 it doesn't happen. Uh-huh, uh-huh, all right. Just keep putting them in there, put them wherever you want, it don't matter, it's your painting. Whatever you think needs to happen is what's going to happen. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, clean that. Now we'll take the one inch brush and we'll just kind of, you know, fluff them old clouds up. You know, enough them up, yes, you know. Just gonna fluff them babies up. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, I like fluffy clouds. I used to make, I used to see pictures in clouds when I was really young. Yeah. Yeah, leave a little bit of highlight on the top there, you know, not too much. Just kind of make them look like old clouds, you know, you do. If you want to add a few more, you can do that too. I'll tell you what, just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and add another cloud here. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how to do that. We're going to add a, a little horizontal cloud, yeah. Just a little horizontal cloud is all it takes. Yeah. We can do that. Yes, we can. See? Nothing to it. So, fuck that one up as well. Yeah. Now we'll take our clean brush. We'll just kind of go back and forth. Just back and forth. Just kind of lift them up, lift them up. Gently back and forth. Lift them up, lift them up. Yeah. Don't worry about the little lines that they pop up. They'll come out as soon as you blend them in. Yeah. You don't worry about the little stingy lines. No, we don't. We don't worry about any of that stuff. Back and forth, back and forth, just like so. Out there, huh? There, there. Nothing to it. Does that look like clouds? Of course it looks like clouds. Yeah, if you want just a little bit more, doesn't matter. You can do it as many times as you want. Oh, yes, a nice day. Mm, that's a nice day. Nice and easy. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. Now, next thing we have to do, is we got to put in a mountain. Oh, I love them mountains. I can find my own knife here. I got me a knife. Yes, I do. I got me a knife. Oh, the dog's barking. I better shut the door. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and build us a little mountain here now. I got it mixed up. You remember the blue, the dark blue, the black, a little bit of a lizard and crimson. And I squish it out and down there like so, and then cut across, get a little roll of paint loop, but maybe I made a little bit too much. We'll just go ahead and we'll just cut across just like that. Yeah, let me see, where are we going to put the bow? I think we can probably start about, oh, somewhere around here like so. Yeah, just, just it doesn't matter how many peaks you put on, you can put as many as you want on. Yes, you can. Many peaks as you want. Ooh, I'm going to put a high one there. I like them high peaks. Whoa, yeah. Well, just the other day I was talking to a fella up in Portland, Washington, or Portland, Oregon, and he said he likes them Twin Peaks. And I said, okay. I think his name was Buzz or something like that. I can't remember. Kind of a weird dude, but I said, that's all right, you know. See, we just go ahead and make bound. We can add little peaks here and there if that's what we want. You can cover the whole canvas with mountains if that's what you prefer. No problem. We're just going to go ahead and do that, yeah. And that's what we're going to do. Lots of mountains, lots of mountains, yeah. Now, let's see, now there's a, that looks like something I've seen before. I don't know where, but I did. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take our brush. Oops, drop my knife. I'm going to have to make a bigger shelf down here, I think. We're going to go ahead and 
just kind of go ahead and make this a, like so, like so, like so. That's all it takes, like that. Yeah. Yep, we can do that. That's already looking like a mountain, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, it's a blue mountain. You can use any dark color you want. Any dark color. You can buy this paint called Mountain Mixture, or you can mix your own. It doesn't matter. Look at that. Does that look, like that? Does that look already like a mountain? You better believe it does. Yes, it does. <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead and get this side of the mountain and that side. Okay, now comes the easy part. Are you ready for the easy part? We're going to put some snow on this mountain. Yes, we are. We're going to put some snow on this mountain. Are you ready? We're going to take this old white paint, flatten it out, get us a little roll of paint on there. A little too much again. Let's get us a little roll of paint like that, okay? Now, we're just going to take, this is the best part. Are you ready? Oh, I love this part. We'll go ahead and just lay the mountain on down there. Just watch that old paint break. Look at that. Look at that old paint break. Oh, it's just so good. Now yeah, we'll go ahead and put a little bit over here. Not much, not much. Just a little. Bring this right around. Yes. Yeah, we'll get a little more snow. Another bit. We'll come over here. We'll just kind of, kind of go down there. Go with the flow. Just go with the flow is all you got to do. Just go with the flow. Lay the old knife flat. Yes, you got to lay the knife flat. Yeah. Yeah, that's all it takes. Just a little bit of snow, okay? A little bit more. Yes, a little bit more. So, yeah. We'll bring this right up in here. We'll put these two together right there. We'll put them together with a little snow right there. Yes, we will. Uh -huh. uh, them apples, huh? Yeah. Now we'll do a little bit over here. And maybe a little bit here. And maybe just a little bit right in this area here. And a little bit here. Just kind of bring it together. It doesn't matter. You just make it any way you want, yeah. Yeah, yeah, how about them apples, huh? Yeah. yeah. We'll just maybe touch, leave that one behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring this around here like so. Uh -huh. Anybody can do this stuff, anybody. Yes, they can. Yeah. Like so, like so, there we go, okay, now, we need to have a shadow color, yeah, we got to have a shadow there, these mountains are really far away, but we still have to have a shadow color, so we'll mix up a little bit of white, a little bit of blue, we'll mix up quite a bit of white, but not a whole lot, we don't want to we want that to be kind of light way back in the back there. You know, when something's far away, it's lighter, right? Yes, it is. All right. Now, now you're beginning to see the real mountain, okay? You're beginning to see it. Yeah, you will see it. Yeah, you All right. A little more white. A little more blue.
faster but you see I'm no Bob Ross. <laughs> yeah. Alright, a little bit more in here I think would help. Okay, we're gonna bring it on down, uh-huh. Alright, so far so good. Well, let's take our little brush to see if we can't do something with uh make it look a little oop, let's see. Let's make it look a little fuzzy in the bottom here. Yeah that's what we're gonna do. Make it look a little misty down in there, yeah. A little misty, uh-huh. All right. So far, so good. Let's see. I'll bet you if I do this right here, it'll really give us a lot of texture. Yeah. There we go. I like that better. Okay, add a little bit of white to that. A little bit more white. I'll make it look like it's a big old valley down in there. Look at that, yeah. Okay, that's good enough, I think. I'm not a big mountain guy. Can't make mountains too good, but I do my best, okay? Yeah. Alright, now, clean, dry brush. I got a clean, dry brush. And we'll go ahead and finish this mountain up, and then we'll move on to the next part. Mm -hmm. Ooh, caught my hair again. <laughs> All right. Now we fluff it up like so. Yeah, fluff it up. Stay with the angles. Stay with the angles. Yeah. Yeah, stay with those angles. such a bad looking mountain is it? All right, let me do a little cleaning here and then we'll move on to the next part. Okay, everything's fairly good. I have myself a little cup of coffee. You know, we're going to kind of take this in pieces so you get a chance to digest it. Okay, we got our little fan brush here. We're going to put some, I think some evergreens in the back, way back there. I think so. We'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and put a little of this on the brush and be kind of light colored. Yeah, we we'll just kind of make it into a, you know, just kind of a blob. That's all. Yeah, let's start right in here somewhere. Let's just kind of do it this way. Yeah, maybe a little darker. Maybe just a tad darker. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I think that'll be just about right. Yeah. We want to make these little trees look, you know, nothing distinct, nothing distinct, no. <laughs> you know, we just want to kind of make them look like little, little stuff sticking up in the air. Yes. You know, we just kind of bring it on across, bring it on down at an angle, maybe. We just bring it right on down this way and see what happens. Yeah, we just 
just kind of bring it on down. You can do this. Anybody can do this. You know, the little pine trees are blocking the mountain, you know. Don't cover up all you missed, you know. Try to, try to keep some of it showing through. You know, not a, not a lot, just enough. You know. But it's your mist. You do what you want, you know. Yeah. That's all it takes. Right about down in here. We can color up as much as we want. Down here at the bottom. Yeah, we can get it on the bottom. Remember I said we're going to have a little water in here. Yes. Do it in here in the bottom a little bit more. Add a little bit of darker, maybe here and there, just just just, just for a little bit of difference. You know, just to give it a little bit of some a little bit thicker and heavier than the others, you know, just kind of kind of do it that way every so often. We can throw a couple in there like that. Alright, now we need to put some shadow in the water. This is the water down here. How are we going to do that? Well, it's pretty easy. We're just going to take our little paintbrush. We're going to do it like this. Like this. Like this. Do it like that. 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 And we'll go ahead and kind of blur it up, make it look like water. Are you beginning to see the water look? Oh yeah. <laughs> now we'll go ahead and take a little bit of take a little bit of uh, just a little bit of liquid white I think. Smear it on the uh, just take a little bit of liquid white out there, it's very thin, you know, we can do that, yep. Now when you're doing the shoreline, we're gonna put a little shoreline on here, you you, you cut across vertically. Okay, and then we kind of maybe cut a little, cut a little bit of a shoreline there. Yeah, just a little. So it looks like a little maybe ice there or something, you know. Try to keep the shoreline a little bit flat. Yeah. Put as much shoreline in as you want. Remember, there's snow all over this place. Uh-huh. All right. Now, what can we do now? I'll tell you what. Let's mix up. Let's mix up a really, really dark color here. Really dark, yeah. Take a little bit of black, a little bit of phthalo blue, and then throw a little Prussian blue in there, what the heck, let's just go ahead, we haven't used much of losing our crimson, might as well use that, we'll go ahead and just, we'll just go ahead and stab that in there, all right, what we want to do now is we're just going to kind of do this number, make it on new, we got to make it a little darker, I guess, yeah, you look like little trees over there. Yeah. We're going to really make this thing dark. Yes, we are. Yep, we're going to make it dark. Really, really dark. Darker the better. Shows up a lot. 
How about that, huh? Yeah, let's do the same thing to the other side. I like that. You're probably asking, what is he doing, man? He's muffing up that whole painting. Well, not really. Not really. You'll see. Go ahead and do it like this. Go ahead and stab it a little bit along the bottom. Yeah. Get plenty of dark. I want that stuff to be dark. Yes, you do. Because in order to have light, you gotta have dark. That's right, that's right. Don't you ever forget that. Never forget that. Are you beginning to see something going on here? I sure hope so. All right. Now yeah, let's go ahead and clean the brush. I want to do a little bit of cleaning. I don't want to have too much paint on it. Get it nice and clean. <laughs> All right, let's make a bit of water here. Just like you make a bit of water right in there. Yes, just like that. We're just going to go ahead and pull that right down in there. Make it look like shadows. to come up with some uh, large trees here. I think that's what we need. Get it nice and dark. We'll get us a little fan brush here. See if we can't make a dark tree. A couple of dark trees, that's what we need. Dark trees. Yeah, let's try, uh, let's try here. Right on down to the bottom. Let's give him a friend. Yeah, he's got to be a friend here. Yeah. Let me do so just a little taller, maybe. I think that would be nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's go with one more. What the heck? the other side see if we can't do the same thing we just kind of go like that yeah and one more yeah we just go one more there's no sense of going crazy here well, I don't know maybe it is a little sin why not we can always go crazy in painting yes we can we can go wacky we can go wacky, it's no problem at all. Alright. Yes, we can. We can go absolutely nuts when it comes to painting. Yeah, and it doesn't have to look great. It doesn't have to look super duper museum quality. No, because it's your painting. This is my painting, okay? Yeah. You know, I've made quite a few paintings and gave them away. Never once have I had anybody turn them down. <laughs> But, like I said, I am no Bob Ross. <laughs> Alright. I'll tell you what, why don't we, uh, why don't we put a couple of small ones right here. I'm all for putting a couple of small ones. These little babies here are trying to grow up and eat big ones. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They just want to be big ones. Let me get a little more, a little more paint here. Ooh. 
You know, they want to be big ones. Yes, they do. Someday they will. Someday they will. All right, now let's go ahead and put a little shoreline. A little shoreline in here, even. Put this shoreline in there, it's a little bit closer, so we can have it a little darker. Yes, we can, uh huh. And uh, I guess that's about it for there. All right, now what we need is the one inch brush. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what we'll do. Yeah, let's go a little taller. Let's, let's go just a little taller with this one. All right, and maybe just a little more up here. You can change your painting any way you want, okay? Any way you want. All right, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the old one-inch brush. We're going to start laying in a little bit of foliage here. I'm going to put a little uh, liquid white on the brush. Yep, we're going to go ahead and... A little blue, I think. Maybe some blue. Maybe a little more liquid white. A little touch more liquid white. We're going to pull it through. Yeah, pull it through. Pull it through. So it looks like a one direction. Pull it through like that. So it looks like a little dog paw. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can put some foliage down in here. The curve of the dog paw up. Okay, yeah, that's what we gotta do. I think we can even put a little bit out here so it kind of covers that. Yes, we can. And here. Yes, yeah, that's looking pretty good so far. You don't want to cover up all your darks. No, you don't. Don't cover up all your darks. Yeah. You don't want to do that. No, you don't. Yeah. All right. We're getting there. We are getting there. I'll put a few over here, I guess. Turn your brush around every so often and make your little things stick out there. Now, see what's going on here? I hope you see what's going on here. Yes. I think we can put a little bit out here as well. Kind of add that. I got a paint on there from the lizard and crimson. I don't really like that. That's okay. So. I think what I will do, put a couple more trees out here. Oh, I'll hurt a bit to do that. No. These are just little scruffies trying to get up there, trying to grow big. Alright. Last thing we're going to do is I'll clean our brush. Throw the snow on our trees. Yes, we do. Uh huh. Go ahead and clean our brush. We're gonna get rid of this paper towel. Yeah, a little bit of again, a little bit of uh, liquid white. Loaded up quite a bit here. We need a little bit more, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's going to look great. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
And we are going to go and put a little bit of snow up here on these trees, not a whole lot. We're not going to cover the trees up. Uh -uh. If they can go up here. A bit. We don't need a ton of snow. The more you go down, the darker it gets. Yeah, the darker it'll get. You don't need to keep adding snow. Okay, don't need a ton. Maybe I should add a little bit more here to the center, right in here. That's not too bad. Could be better, huh? Yes, it could. Uh huh. Just add a little bit over here. Okay, so far so good. One last thing, then I think we can go ahead and call this thing quits. We're going to get a little bit more of our liquid white. I'm going to mix it up here with this white right here. And we're going to start putting a little snow on the bushes. Yeah, that's what we want all the way through. Dog paw, dog paw. See the dog paw? Now we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of a little bit of bush color here. Yeah, there's a lot of snow down in here, boy, I'll tell you. That's right. something? I think. Let's get a little more white right in here somewhere. Yeah. I think you can just about call this one duck. Let me get uh, let me get this one last brush here. I'm gonna, this is an old round brush. I think we might be able to Cover some of this up here a little bit. I kind of went too far down with the shadow. But we never make mistakes. They're just happy accidents. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Alright. Alright, now we can take now we can take our other brush, our other fan brush. We can just kind of pull it down. Life is going across. Okay, I think. All right. I think what we're going to do, except for this little boo boo right here, except for the little boo boo right there, I think we can go ahead and call this baby quits. All right. I see my little. A little dog paw again. I gotta blend in a little blue in that. And 
And we'll go ahead and scratch in a few twigs here and there. Yeah, people will think we've been out there with our one hair brush doing this sort of thing. I think that should do it. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should uh, maybe I should take a little bit of dark here. Maybe put a few uh, put a few tree trunks in here anyway. Yeah, I think we can do that. And yeah, the final touches, the final touches. I think that'll do it. That'll do it for now. Okay. I call that a finished painting. I did in just a few minutes. It's not great, but I know Bob Ross. Thank you for watching me. The old rain just doesn't want to give it up. Day after day after day, it's incredible. Well, when it stops, we'll be back. So until next time, this is John.